today we get to actually go harvest some massive four-year-old koi. Best koi in the world in here. Oh my god. This is how much? A million dollars worth of fish. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So here they are separating the different fish. These guys really, really understand the difference in the markings and the colors and the patterns. And so this is their busy time of year. Tomorrow we actually get to go harvest some of these fish, which means we're gonna pull them out of the mud ponds and where they'll bring them back here to sell. Johnny, what do you think, bud? It's crazy how love all these <laughs> fish, man. The kiutsuri are so beautiful. So these are all kiutsuris. It's and like a yellow and black. Yep. And there's the hiutsuris, which are the orange and black, and then the shiruutsuris, which are the black and white. So Brian's picked out a couple fish in here the other day, and so right now he's just gonna separate out the two once and so they use this koi sock to fill up that tank and then you can see this big giant that he's got behind him so a few scoops get enough water in that big blue tub separate out his fish and these fish in here would retail for around ten thousand dollars a piece that room back in there is about a million dollars worth of fish all in one tub these are some of the nicest fish i've ever seen just amazing so let's see what brian picked it's so funny to me that out of, I mean, there's gotta be a hundred plus fish in here. It's a giant huge Surrey. It's so freaking big. Oh my God. That is a huge fish. <laughs> Brian will actually come here, pick these fish out, and then calls customers and will please sell these things before he even brings them home. So these are going to a customer that Brian already has a strong relationship with. Just enormous. This. this is crazy. Just some of the most amazing fish I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. This is how much? A million dollars worth of fish. There's a million dollars worth of fish in this. Oh, look at that tantra down there. Look at that tantra. Kohaku right there. So. Look at that shit. Look at this thing. That is enormous. Oh my god. That is a gigantic fish. That's that, the biggest toy I've ever That brown played. thing would scare the hell out of me on the bottom there. That fish is crazy unique. Tom, what is that? This gold fish right here. That is a cool looking fish. Oh my god, look at the size of that asagi right there. Oh my god. Just blown away. Right, you said this is this is probably one of the most famous ponds, certainly in, in the Yamakoshi Mountains, maybe even in all of Japan. I mean, every person who has been to Japan, bought koi in Japan, knows about this pond, and it's it's a pond you have to visit because it's unbelievable. There's now, are any of these spoken for? Do, um, do they sell these? Yes, so, so some of these in here are sold, and just because they're so unique, he just takes a picture of it and he knows, but a lot of these are still for sale. But most of these are probably still for sale, but wow. these, I mean, these can go for 20, Thirty, forty thousand dollars a piece. It's so amazing. Next stop here at Terrazzo, which specializes in Kohaku. And these are massive, perfect Kohakus. Monster fish. Just monsters. I would say the one thing we're seeing in common, Jack, is just monster fish. Dude, Everywhere we go, there's look monster at the, look fish. At the size of their heads. I mean, the head has to be like this big. Yeah, it's crazy. Enormous fish. I don't know. I have no idea how they get them so big. The other thing they specialize in is some Jinrin Kohakus, which are down over here. Remember, that's the sparkly scale ones. There's another really 
perfect Tancho. Tancho Kohaku. Tancho is the spot on the head. I think John and I are both drawn towards the Showas. Yeah, right. And that show is really nice right there. I bet you that one's on oh, sale. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely just start giving deals to us, you know? Here's some of these Jinrin. It's hard to see because of the camera, but Jinrin is the sparkly scale ones. There's that Showa John and I both like. <laughs> Beautiful fish after beautiful fish. Well, we've been going how many hours now, Greg? How many hours are we today? Yeah. Well, we started at 9.45. We started at 9, so six hours and 25 minutes. Six hours, and I'm still not bored. I could do this all day long. So Brian just said, Brian, where are we at? Hero Seiji. Hero Seiji, some of the best koi in the world in here. Yeah, this at like Tosai, a lot of breeders, uh -huh. and then grows them out here. He's a uh, rare fish investor. Rare fish investor. And then he'll sell it back. So like the other day he bought, or a couple years ago, bought a Tosai from Dainichi for like a thousand bucks. Then he sold it back to him for a hundred grand. So <laughs> six years later. So he's so just got a good eye. He's known to have the best eye in all of him. Wow, that's saying something. <laughs> series I've been looking for. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can hear this from the other side of the street. So of course it's con guys. We had to come check it out. Whoa. That's a big ball. That's how you stack a little cobbles to create a no good right? waterfall. <laughs> Hey, good morning everybody. It's Brian with Team Aquascape. I am exhausted. Didn't get any sleep last night. This 14 hour time change thing is really messing with my whole internal clock. I think I slept for maybe 20 minutes last night because it's really like noon back home when it's like two o'clock in the morning here. So I don't know, it's all confusing. I also thought it'd be a good time just to let you see the backside of my head. <laughs> Hey, yesterday was awesome. We finished off the day. It was kind of in the dark. Sorry I didn't film the end of the day. It was just such an awesome day. I hope you guys saw the enthusiasm in my voice as we went from fish house to fish house to fish house. Just seeing some of the most incredible fish ever. I personally spent more money than I was supposed to. Sorry, Janine. That's my wife. <laughs> and I'm probably going to spend some more today. But this isn't just for me. I've got a couple fish. I've got my Utsuri. You guys saw that one. I think I found the perfect Doitsu Showa for my son, Matthew, who really wants that Doitsu Showa. I might get an Asagi, and um, I think I've got my Doitsu Kohaku as well. Today I should be done. The rest of the fish I'm picking out are just for Aquascape, just for you guys, all the people that want to buy some of these koi that don't get the opportunity to come um, all the way out to Japan. So hopefully I can share that stuff with you guys. Today we get to actually go harvest some massive four-year-old koi. I can't wait for that experience. So you guys hold on tight. Here we go. Um, what are we in for, bud? We're going to be harvesting some four-year-old koi. They're going to be big. They're worth a lot of money. And um, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I've been selling fish for 25 years. I've never seen a mud pond until this week. It's going to be cool. This is really cool because you can see now why these fish get so big. There's probably 30 fish in here in what looks to be like a half-acre pond. And they're gorgeous. I mean, I can see their colors from here. It just looks absolutely amazing. So these are four-year-old fish. Tom, what are we thinking? Like 30? 33 inches yeah they're gonna be they're gonna be 30 plus inches 30 plus inches the problem that we're gonna face right. is that some of these fish okay. are really expensive when we you say really expensive we're talking like tens of thousands tens of, of thousands yeah 30 50 thousand dollar fish yeah we're, yeah we're not gonna touch those yeah <laughs> you know what if I'm the owner of a thirty thousand dollar fish I wouldn't let me touch it either well this is gonna be so much fun this was one of my bucket list things come out here and actually just see these if we get the opportunity to actually grab some of these fish and help them harvest it it'd even be better but I'd be okay with just seeing the fish. And so this is really special. Here we go. Oh my God. 